and the ASEAN Special Summit in ASEAN Plus 3 took place via video conference in Vietnam. This will be the first time, this is the first time in ASEAN history that innovative technology is providing platforms for the leaders of the 10 ASEAN member states and ASEAN's plus three partners, namely China, Japan, and the Republic of Korea, to discuss via video conference and reaffirm their shared commitment to cooperate in the fight against COVID-19. We have a report coming in from our EBC correspondent in Hanoi, Vietnam, Ralph, uh, Ralph, Wandolf Empire. Yes, hello, Ralph. Hi. Um, yeah, the only in ASEAN Special Summit and ASEAN Plus 3 Special Summit on COVID-19 Response takes place in Hanoi on Tuesday, chaired by Prime Minister Nguyen Xuan Phuc, Chairman of ASEAN and of ASEAN Plus 3. Leaders of the 10 nation bloc and their partners from three ASEAN partners, namely China, the Republic of Korea and Japan, discuss measures and initiatives to strengthen cooperation in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic to ensure dynamic and sustainable development in the region in the long run. They are expected to adopt a joint statement of the ASEAN Summit and another of the ASEAN Plus 3 Special Summit on COVID-19 response, in which they will affirm their commitment to, to preventing and eliminating the risk of the pandemic, which is threatening uh, people's lives and stabilizing the social economic situation in each member state. Addressing the opening ceremony, Prime Minister Fox stressed the significance of the meeting with COVID-19 spreading across the region and the world. All ASEAN member countries have strived to fight the pandemic, which has harmed the lives of all citizens and socioeconomic development, particularly the services sector, which accounted for 30% of the total GDP of ASEAN, threatening sustainability and social security, he said. However, he noted that during this difficult time, the solidarity of the ASEAN community has brightened, shouldering together to overcome difficulties. This was demonstrated by the ASEAN Chairman statement on ASEAN collective response to the outbreak of coronavirus disease 2019. Member countries have enhanced cooperation in healthcare, national defense, economy, and tourism, and supported each other. ASEAN's efforts have brought encouraging results for putting the pandemic under control, he said. The number of COVID-19 cases in ASEAN stands at about 15,000 among more than 650 million citizens, lower than the global rate. This initial result makes us feel more confident, but we should not be subjective and be more determined in actions in the spirit of cohesive and responsive, he said. The Prime Minister said he believed the meeting would put forward practical measures to, op to overcome the COVID-19 challenge. And after the opening speech by Prime Minister Fook and ASEAN leaders, the Kudi Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Pham Bin Main, also chairman of the ASEAN Coordinating Council, delivered a report on ASEAN's efforts in fighting COVID-19 and gave recommendations on future cooperation. Alma? Discuss or... Um tackled during the coronavirus, uh, 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 discussed at the summit towards tackling the coronavirus situation. I think they w well, came out with a statement? Yeah, well, Alma ministers agree collectively in further, number one, further enhancing the exchange and sharing of timely data and information COVID-19 on the prevention, detection, control, and res response measures, epidemiologic surveillance updates, risk assessment results, epidemiological and clinical studies mm -hmm. on the virus and the disease mm -hmm. and technical guidelines through the existing ASEAN health sector cooperation mechanisms such as the ASEAN SOMHD, the ASEAN Plus 3 SOMHD, the ASEAN EOC network, the ASEAN Plus 3 Field Epidemiology Training Network or FETN and the ASEAN Biodiaspora Virtual Center. Mm -hmm. Secondly, strengthening regional cooperation in risk communication and COVID-19 in collaboration with relevant sectoral bodies of ASEAN to avert misinformation and fake news. Mm -hmm. Number three, utilizing <clears throat> digital technology, including video conferencing and social media applications, as well as artificial intelligence in addition to the existing official and formal platforms for efficient exchange of information which will facilitate the timely timely implementation of public health responses. Mm -hmm. Number four,
coordinating cross-border public health responses such as contact tracing and outbreak investigation where appropriate through existing bilateral and regional cooperation mechanisms. Number five, enhancing cooperation within ASEAN-led mechanisms and with external partners or stakeholders in capacity building interventions on public health emergency preparedness and response. Sharing of critical lessons learned and good practices. Resource mobilization, including technical assistance and policy dialogues on the latest development on COVID-19, including drug and vaccine development and security and self-reliance. And number six, ensuring that all persons infected by COVID-19, including migrants and other vulnerable groups can access essential health care services. And we have number seven, supporting the timely provision of assistance that are critical in sustaining affected national health systems in the region and improving the readiness of others, including the sharing of interventions to aid in transitioning national health systems to recovery. Number eight, com combating the outbreak in ASEAN hand in hand with dialogue and development partners and other regional and global entities such as the WHO, as well as collaborate with academia and private sector to promote research and development on the disease and strengthen the exchange of the latest available knowledge, as well as sharing of evidence-based management and the appropriate and innovative tools and interventions that will help to stem the outbreak. And lastly, number nine, committing the, the continue after overcoming the challenges related to COVID-19 and other re revitalizing national health systems, the collaboration and learning from the regional and national experiences in responding to COVID-19 challenges, as well as in further strengthening and institu institutionalizing preparedness, surveillance, prevention, detection, and response mechanisms of ASEAN with other dialogue and development partners such as the WHO on public health emergencies and other crises. All right, thank you uh -huh. very much. Thank you very much, Ralph. That was the uh, joint statement of the Special ASEAN Summit plus ASEAN Plus 3 Summit on COVID-19. Thank you for your time. Thank you, You're Ralph. welcome, Alma. Reporting live from Hanoi, Vietnam, this is Ralph Wangel, and by really the interesting times. There are